अधिष्ठाता महोदय कृपया पांच मिनट में आप अपनी बात कहिए वक्ताओं की बहुत लंबी सूची है कृपया संक्षिप्त रहिए प्लीज सर मैं पहली महिला बोल रही हूँ मेरे को दस मिनट दीजिए सर नहीं आप बोलिए Thank you, sir. I rise to welcome and support this visionary bill, which seeks to do away with the last remnants of the British Raj by replacing the archaic and redundant laws of the colonial era with utilitarian and pragmatic laws, which are more relevant in today's context, whilst keeping constitutional morality in mind. So, we as a people are litigant by nature. with great faith in the criminal justice justice uh, system and retributive justice our honorable prime minister and our honorable home minister in the last 4 years have brought in path breaking legislations whether it be a triple talaq or abrogation of article 370 or more recently the reorganization and reservation in jammu and kashmir and this bill is just going to add to the tally of path breaking legislations they are leaders who have the will and the courage of their convictions to bring in revolutionary legislations for the betterment of the country so uh, there's several interesting aspects of the bill like for the first time community service has been introduced abatement of an offence committed in india by a person outside india has been made an offence after that a new offence which is particularly significant um, has been added which is mob lynching since the supreme court has been requesting the center to bring in this uh, legislation to control mob lynching after that uh, uh, sir there is another very interesting uh, new uh, provision which strengthens the clutches of the law on proclaimed offenders and absconders and this is a problem which we are facing uh, currently as per section 356 sub clause 6 absence of the accused won't prevent the court from proceeding with the trial including pronouncement of judgment and no appeal by proclaimed offenders would lie until he or she appears before the court this is a very interesting provision which has been added to this uh, bill so what has really uh, impressed me the most and which i appreciate as a woman is chapter roman 5 wherein detailed provisions have been made for offenses against women and children whether it be a new offense has been added for having sexual intercourse on false promises of marriage employment promotion or by suppressing one's identity whether it is instances you know which are on the rise where women are also involved in cases of assault or use of criminal force against other women to disrobe or engage in acts of voyeurism these two criminal acts have also been made gender neutral which is a very important point to note here sir uh, apart from that there um, a new section has been added to make hiring employing employing or engaging a child to commit an offence has been made a punishable offence which is also very important so besides these you know there are certain other important issues like uh, the bill emphasizes on increased use of forensics and technology and under the uh, indian evidence act the bhartiya saksha adhiniyam more emphasis has been placed on forensics and technology and um, uh, you know the uh, definition of uh, the primary document secondary evidence has been changed to be more uh, relevant with you know all the internet usage and uh, things like that so i would like to say here that the section which deals with women is very welcome because right from cyber bullying to stalking or causing a woman to abort or miscarry a fetus without her consent 
or buying and selling for children for the purpose of prostitution, all these, every aspect has been paid considerable attention to. And I just want to add here, I don't want to take too much of the House's time, that I agree wholeheartedly with the Honorable Member Satyapalji when he talked about uh, 2018 when the Supreme Court decriminalized adultery. This has had uh, a very disturbing effect on the fabric of Indian society. Women are treated as broodmares only to give children. And thereafter, the man goes on with his life as uh, he feels fit. And in rural India, women are being beaten by drunken husbands. And there are, you know, far-reaching ramifications. I would like to um, request the Honorable Home Minister to please look into this matter and to review this, uh, provision, this uh, act uh, which had been decriminalized. Lastly, sir, I would just like to say uh, in conclusion that I particularly compliment and thank the Honorable Prime Minister and the Home Minister for this transformative and progressive bill which addresses the concerns of today and especially for putting the uh, sort of interest of the unborn child and his mother in the forefront. Uh, once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Shrimati Sunita Duggalji. Kripya Samaya Ghan Rakhiya Ghan. Bhoat, bhoat.